I just taught myself the most overpowered move in 2K24, the L2 cancel. Now, if you don't know what the L2 cancel is, so if you do the Trey Young or the Kemba Walker escape, and then you run, you press L2 before you go the other way, it cancels out the animation, and you do it much, much faster when you come back to the other side. Now, you already know, if I learn something broken, I gotta teach all of my subscribers. So today, I will be giving all of you an in-depth tutorial on how to do the l2 cancel and i will be using a hand cam now before i get into the tutorial drop a like on the video subscribe turn those noties on we're on that one mil grind and also comment down below what your favorite build to use in 2k24 is whether you made one of my builds let me know which build or if you made your very own build or if you use some other youtubers build so this is what the original trey young escape looks like as you can see I am not using the L2 button right now. And it is much easier to guard this if you're not using the L2 cancel because your player has to do a fat stop. You have to literally stop moving and then you do the animation to go the other way. But now I'm in the 1v1s and there is an AI guarding me and I'm doing the L2 cancel and I'm cooking the AI. And you guys know how hard it is to cook AIs in this game. They have superpowers. Now I'm gonna give you guys the best dribble moves to use for a 6-6 build and the best dribble moves to use for builds that are 6-4 and under. But do you see how easy it is? For me to get open while doing the L2 cancel, like, nobody expects you to do that, and it is so hard for them to guard it. Because if they see you running to the left, they don't expect you to just be running to the right, the whole opposite direction, in a few milliseconds. Like, you just instantly turn around and go the other way. This move is so broken. And if you guys did not know, I am on a 6'6", 240-pound player, and I am using Magic Johnson dribble style. I'm not using Kyrie Irving dribble style on a little six foot two. I am on a ginormous player that should not be able to be moving this fast. Now I'm gonna show you guys my build, the best dribble moves, and then I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it with the hand cam. Now my build only has an 87 ball handle and an 83 speed with ball. I don't get Kyrie dribble style. I'm using Magic Johnson and I am moving like this. That is crazy. When I tell you guys six sixes are the meta, especially for 1v1s, I am not trolling. Now that I know the L2 cancel and I have Magic Johnson dribble style, I'm unstoppable. So if you have over a 92 ball handle, you want to use Trey Young escape. That is the best escape. Now the next best escape, which is the one that I use on all of my six six builds is Kamba Walker. Now you only need an 86 ball handle for this. Most of my builds, they have an 87 plus ball handle and as long as you're under six foot ten you can use Kemba now if you don't get Trey Young or Kemba escape don't worry I got you as long as you have over a 75 ball handle you can use Kevin Durant escape now it's not as good as Kemba and Trey Young but it is still extremely good and you can L2 cancel like crazy so if you don't get Trey Young or Kemba Walker escape make sure you use Kevin Durant. These are the exact SIGs that I use on my 6-6 builds. Now, I have an 87 ball handle, and you can get most of these with a much less ball handle. So we have Magic Johnson dribble style, which is the best dribble style in my opinion. Jamal Murray SIG size up, James Harden regular breakdown combo, John Morant aggressive breakdown combo, Kemba Walker escape, De'Aaron Fox combo moves, John Wall crossover, Jamal Murray behind the back, Steve Nash spin, pro hesitation, and John Wall step back. And then these are the moves that I use on my six foot three, 92 ball handle build. So I use Kyrie Irving dribble style, Trey Young sig size up, Darius Garland breakdown combo, Isaiah Thomas aggressive breakdown combo, Trey Young escape, Trey Young combo moves, John Wall crossover, Jamal Murray behind the back, Steve Nash spin, pro hesitation, and either Curry or John Wall step back. Now that I've given you guys the best dribble moves and the best escapes to use, it is time for me to teach you how to do the L2 cancel. So this is how the Kevin Durant escape looks with the L2 cancel. As you can see, it is still extremely 
effective but this is the kemba walker escape as you can see my player he's moving a little bit faster and then this is the trey young escape as well i think trey young and kemba walker are the most too effective but i love using kemba walker personally on my big 240 pound 66 so i'm gonna show you guys how i do it at normal speed and then i'm gonna slow it down and zoom in on the controller and really break it down for you guys so essentially i do the kemba walker Walker to the right and then right whenever I want to switch ways and go to the left I hold L2 right before I flick diagonally up the other way and you only hold L2 right before and as you flick the other way then you let go of l2 and you don't hold it anymore now that might sound a little complicated to you guys so i'm gonna just zoom in on the controller real quick and slow it down for you so first off to do the trey young or kemba you hold r2 and flick the right stick diagonally up to your opposite ball hand as you can see i'm holding r2 i flick the right stick to the top right and then i run with my left stick up you have to hold the left stick kind of up a little bit if you don't hold your left stick like kind of up or diagonally up it's gonna give you a very clunky animation and it's not gonna be the fast kemba walker or trey young animation that's why you can't just hold it to the right i have to hold it kind of like diagonally up or upwards and then i can move my left stick a little more to the right to run that direction so now we've done the kemba walker to the right let me show you guys how to l2 cancel and then do it to the left this is what my controller looks like right after i did the move once to the right so after you take one dribble to the right off of the kemba then you start to hold l2 right before you flick the right stick diagonally up to the left and then you kind of run with the left stick diagonally up to the left as well and then you can start to angle your left stick more to the left if you just want to run in that direction now this is what it looks like with the controller and looking at my player so as you can see after i take that one dribble to the right i hold l2 right before i flick my right stick to the top left and then that's when you can let go of the l2 button you don't want to run while you're holding your l2 button you want to make sure you let go of it on time it's basically like you do l2 right stick left stick l2 right stick left stick in that exact order but you need to make sure you do it all very fast and at the exact precise timing so you basically hold l2 right before and as you flick the right stick to go the other way you hold l2 as you flick the right stick and go the other way but you want to make sure that when you run and take the one dribble you do not want to be holding l2 you start to hold the l2 button right before and as you flick the right stick to trigger the move so you holding l2 while you do the kemba walker or the trey young escape that basically cancels out the animation it makes it so that you can switch ways to go left or right just off of one dribble very easily it's technically not meant for you to be able to do this you pressing l2 just cancels the animation out your player is supposed to have to come to a complete stop before you can do it to the other side but with the l2 cancel it gets rid of that stop and you can just switch ways immediately so you do the move you dribble once you take one dribble and then you l2 cancel the other way you do the kemba one dribble l2 cancel the other way it's very easy it's very simple it is very hard to do guys do not beat yourself up if you do not get this down this took me a few hours to get this down i taught myself i literally taught myself i didn't use anyone else's video i didn't have someone explain to me what to do i just labbed the timing with the l2 button and the right stick and the left stick all of that and i just figured out the timing so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it and try to explain one more time and then i'm gonna zoom in on the controller slow it down and break it down again now if your player posts up in l2 or you do a momentum that means your timing is almost there but it's not there yet it means you either pulled your left stick too early to the side which is why you're doing a momentum or you held l2 too long which is why your player would post up now this is slowed down so i'm running to the right we want to come to the left i hold r2 flick the right stick to the top left 
and then my left stick to the top left. Then you hold L2 right as you flick the right stick to the top right. It is like barely before you flick the right stick. You want to press L2 and right as you do that, you start to flick your right stick to the top right. And then you also see how right after I do that, I let go of the L2 button when I want to run. I do not run while holding L2. You want to make sure you let go of L2 right as you start to move the left stick and you want to be holding r2 during all of this as well you never let go of your r2 button so the first time you regularly do the move you don't want to hold l2 but when you want to l2 cancel the other way you hold l2 right as you flick the right stick and then you let go of l2 when it is time to run with the left stick now like i said don't beat yourself up if you don't get it it could take you a few hours you could learn in an hour, you could learn in 30 minutes right away from watching the video. Or it could take you a day, it could take you days. Don't give up, keep trying, man. It is a very hard timing to get down. And once you get it down, the more you practice it, you'll be doing it so consistently. Now, if you get this little post-up animation right here, like I said, that means your timing is just a little bit off. If you get that, or if your player does a momentum on accident, timing is almost there. If you post up, you're just holding L2 too long. That means you're trying to run while you're holding L2. You need to let go of it earlier. You just hold L2 while you flick the right stick, and then you let go. I will explain it one more time. So we're going to start off going right here, all right? I'm holding r2 at the beginning i do a regular kemba to the right and now we end up here my player has not taken the one dribble yet you have to remember there is a ginormous delay in 2k24 i don't know why but there is a huge delay now right before your player takes the one dribble you hold l2 and flick the right stick to the top left and then you hold the left stick to the top left right as you let go of l2 so we were right here before we did the L2 cancel. We were in this position. We were going right. We didn't take our dribble yet. So we hold L2 right as we flick the right stick to the top left. And then we let go of L2 right when we want to start holding the left stick to the top left to run. It's very simple, but it is very hard to do. Now, I hope I didn't make that too hard for you guys. I really just want the best for you all. I want you guys to be able to do the L2 cancel like me. I want you guys to be able to go crazy. If you're having any trouble with it, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to reply to most of you, but just don't give up. Keep trying. You guys will get it down. It just takes a while. This is one of the hardest moves to do in any 2K, and it's a very precise timing that you have to learn. So if you get it down, you should be very proud of yourself, even with the help of the hanky video. And then you can do the L2 cancel off of more moves as well. You don't just have to do it off of the escape move. It's just a lot harder. Not even I have practiced it with those other moves, but I've done it a few times. So I gave you guys the SIGs. I taught you how to do it. Hopefully, you all can come out L2 cancel demons. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe, turn those noties on. Let's hit that one mil subs this year. I love you all. Follow me on Twitter at Hank the Tank. Twitch, twitch.tv slash Hanky. I live stream all the time as well. You guys are the best, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you in that next Hanky the Sanky Banger.